Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Seoul, the home of humanity, that area where, well, there's many thousands of inhabited star systems there now, but the thing with humanity is that it likes to spread. Now, we're already at a number of different locations around the galaxy, but it seems humanity wants to expand further still. The next destination then is right here at the galactic core, right near Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole that exists at the center of the galaxy. In an undisclosed system right near Sagittarius A, a new space station is planned to be built. This project then is a part of the Distant Worlds 2 expedition and is currently taking place in the form of a community goal in the Omega Nebula. What you can see right here is Omega Mining Orbital and it's recently been stocked up with new mining equipment as well as a shipyard. Now, if you haven't checked the community goal yet, you can sign up for it here at this particular station. You can, of course, sign up for it anywhere else, but it won't be much use to you as the mining equipment of the mining materials, rather, need to be delivered to this particular station. Now, you may have noticed that the tiers of this community goal are very high, currently at tier 11. It may even push to higher tiers yet, as Frontier keep adding extra tiers because people are working through this community goal at such a rapid pace. Now, chances are this is going to complete very, very soon, so if you do want to take part, you probably should get out this way sooner rather than later. Also out here is a bounty hunting community goal, and this one so far has far fewer participants, but that is most likely because most people have come out here with exploration ships rather than combat ships. However, the good news is that this station now has a shipyard. It didn't previously, but it has been upgraded. The downside is that unfortunately there's not a wide selection of ships here, especially not combat ships, but if you do have other ships available you can transfer them in at a fairly high price. And yes, that wait time is pretty significant. As for modules, this station now has everything you need for mining, and that is fitting as soon as it is a mining platform. You've got all the hard points you need here, mining lasers, seismic chargers, subsurface displacement tools, as well as abrasion blasters. But there is something missing, something that many people would probably want, and that is the Pulse Wave Scanner. I don't know whether this is intentionally been left out or if it's been a bit of an oversight, but I guess there we go. But you can transfer one in, which is exactly what I did. But you don't need that for the community goal, so perhaps ultimately it's a bit besides the point. As for the rest of the modules, you also have available the refineries, prospectors and collector limpets in pretty much all sizes. Mining itself is a pretty simple affair, as the station is located right inside an asteroid ring, you don't really need to go anywhere unless you want some of the more expensive uh, minerals or more expensive commodities. But personally, I don't think it's necessary, after all, if you're really out here for money, this probably isn't the best place to begin with. Otherwise, if you're just here to help with the community goal, then just come out the door and start mining. And already you can see some dust clouds there from other people who have used the asteroid cracking methods. Now, you don't need to use Asteroid Kraken, of course, to get the materials that are needed for this particular community goal. You can revert right back to the old traditional method of mining without any problem. So this, then, is the first community goal for Distant Worlds 2. The second community goal is happening a little bit later, and I do believe that's happening at Waypoint 7. Do correct me if I'm wrong. And at that point, the station should already be constructed. What that second community goal will be for is for the outfitting of services to that particular station. And already, when you do get there, there should theoretically, hopefully, be the ability to outfit mining equipment, so you shouldn't need to carry that with you to that destination. Now, the really interesting question about this community goal, about the idea of building a station in the centre of the galaxy, is, well, what does it mean for the game? What does it mean for humanity within Elite Dangerous? Would it be a single station, spinning out there, all alone in the night? Would it be the introduction of a third bubble of humanity, a third inhabited area? Ultimately, I don't know what the plans are, but personally, I'd love to see an area of expansion of humanity in the Galactic Core. It's a very, very nice area of space, and to see people playing out there with many stations, as well as many different uh, factions and all the rest of it, that could be pretty interesting indeed. Ultimately, the galaxy is very, very large, so this could keep going for many years to come, without really making too much of a dent in what the galaxy represents. Most of it would of course still remain empty, that is, down to the sheer size of things. Either way, do let me know your thoughts and feelings on this, I'd love to know whether you think the Galactic Core and Sagittarius A should be left in isolation, or whether you'd like to see just an outpost out there, or whether you'd like to see a full-on area of civilization. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.